In the previous video, we talked about basics of weight discrepancy. That is, when does weight discrepancy occurs, the difference between charge weight and applied weight. In order to connect with what we are going to talk about next in this video, request you to watch that video first in our support section so it, it gives you a better clarity. In this video, we'll understand how weight slab changes between entered weight and volumetric weight. Say you have selected a career partner that has minimum weight of 0.5 kg. To make it easier for you, all career partners have 0.5 kg as a minimum weight until there is a weight defined or specified. So for express weight 2 kg, minimum weight becomes 2 kg. If there is no weight mentioned with the courier name, minimum weight slab is of 0.5 kg. The weight and dimensions entered for your package decides the weight slab. For example, the weight of your package is 500 grams and these are the dimensions giving the volumetric weight as 0.200 kg. This is still under 500 gram slab because the volumetric weight is also lower and the dead weight is 500 grams. So range between 10 grams to 500 grams will be under 500 weight slab. 500 grams weight slab. So for example, if I change it to 0.678 and I change the dimensions as well to 16, 16, 16. Volumetric weight is showing as 0.819 kg. This is under 1 kg slab. This is also considered within the same slab because both volumetric weight and dead weight are above 500 grams but below 1 kg. This is how the 500 grams breakup is shown here. Similarly, if we take the example of this case, dead weight is 0.20 kg, volumetric is 0.0016 kg in this case, hence the weight slab is showing as 0.5 kg. If I take the example of express B is 2 kg, dead weight is, was 0.50 kg, volumetric was 0.20 kg, but the weight slab is showing of 2 kg. Why? Because the courier selected was of express B 2 kg. Hope this has helped understand the weight slab bit. Mm -hmm.